Thor's hammer! Chris Hemsworth. I think after working with um, George Miller on the Furiosa prequel to uh, Mad Max Fury Road, I think he's probably been like, you know what? Jesus Christ. It's been, a, you know, I've been working on these Marvel movies that are crazy blockbusters in front of green and blue screens and whatever the hell. I forgot what it's like to uh, work with a literal genius because he's been working with Taka Waititi, who's not a fucking genius. Let's face it. I'm not saying that all his movies are bad or anything that he produces is bad. It's not all bad, but the Thor movies are not that great. And Chris Hemsworth spoke with Variety, and this is what he had to say. Chris Hemsworth admits Thor 4 was too silly. Calls Scorsese and Tarantino's Marvel criticism super depressing. I guess they're not a fan of me. I mean, yeah, make it all about yourself, Chris. My God. That Love and Thunder was too silly for its own good. And quote, he says right here, I think we just had too much fun. It just became too silly. It's always hard being in the center of it and having any real perspective. I love the process. It's always a ride, but you just don't know how people are going to respond. Hemsworth said his biggest critics were his son's friends. It's a bunch of eight-year-olds critiquing my film. We thought this one had too much humor. The action was cool, but the VFX weren't so good. And they weren't. I cringe and laugh equally at it. These are eight-year-olds saying this. His kid's friends. Hemsworth has starred in a total of eight Marvel movies, and just because Thor Love and Thunder was too silly doesn't mean he's against doing more. The actor currently is not contracted for any more Marvel movies. He really wants to do some other stuff for a while, and he'll, re and, you know, but he'll return, of course, if he you know, wants to. I love the experience. I love the fact that I've been unable to do, uh, that I've been able to do something fairly different throughout the process. Thor 1 and 2 were their own thing. Thor 3 and 4 were a very different feel. Yeah, no shit. Taka. And even uh, and then even uh, Avengers and um, Lebowski Thor, the Infinity War Thor, due to the different directors, I think mostly my own, my own need to do something different. So he just wanted to, you know, do something different. But kind of just talks about that. Marvel had a, a rocky track record as of late. And then, of course, talking about all that. But, uh, you know, I think he's kind of like realizing that, yeah, he probably had fun on the set, but for the most part, he was going, yeah, it's not that great. Especially when his kids' friends are going, it was way too humorous. That's pretty sad. When you make a movie and you got all beefed up and God knows what you got to get all jacked like that. You know, worked really hard and then just um, basically turned Thor into a parody of Thor. You have eight-year-old kids telling you that it wasn't that great. That's, that's fucking fantastic. And then you got the VFX that weren't that great. Oh, man. That's just, that's got to be, that's got to be damaging to the ego. I am looking forward to Extraction 2, though. I like the first Extraction movie. It was just like, a, you know, you're basic, like almost like a 90s action film. And Extraction 2 looks pretty great. Idris Elba is going to be in it. It's coming out this Friday, I believe. So I am looking forward to that. And I'm glad that Hemsworth is not, you know, he's done other things, which is great. He hasn't just done Thor, but he's best known, of course, for Thor. But man, that had to be a little bit damaging to the ego when kids were saying that your movie had too much humor and the VFX weren't that great. Oh, that just kind of shows you right there. 